percent of life is, is is set up for you if you're born in this country. And I remember going to, to sorry, just to bore you with stories, but I was when I was back in my private equity days, we went to China to buy a factory there. It employed about 20,000 people, and they were almost all uh, young women between the ages of about 18 and 22 or 23. Uh, they were saving for potentially becoming married, and they work in these huge factories. They made various uh, small appliances. And, uh, and as we were walking through this facility, seeing them work, the number of hours they work per day, the pittance they earn, living in dormitories with, uh, with little bathrooms at the end of maybe 10, 10 rooms. And in the rooms, they had 12 girls per, per room, three bunk beds uh, atop of each other. I mean, you've seen them. You've oh, seen yeah. Them. yeah. And, and, and around this factory, was a fence, a huge fence of barbed wire and guard towers. And, and we said, gosh, I can't believe that you, you know, you keep these girls in. They said, no, 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 this is to keep other people from coming in. Because people want so badly to come work in this factory that we have to keep them out or they'll just come in here and start working and, and, and try and get compensated. So we, this is to keep people out. And they said, actually, at Chinese New Year, as the girls go home, sometimes they decide they've saved enough money and they don't come back to the factory. And he said, and so on, on, on the weekend after Chinese New Year, there'll be a line of people, hundreds long, outside the factory, hoping that some girls haven't come back and they can come to the factory. And, and so as we were experiencing this for, for the first time, we to see a factory like this in China some years ago. The, the main partner I was with turned to me and said, you know, 95% of life is settled if you're born in America. This is, uh, this is an amazing land. And, and what we have is, is unique, and fortunately it is so special, we're sharing it with the world. I say that because there's a perception that, oh, you were born with a silver spoon, you know, you never had to earn anything, and so forth. And, and, uh, and, I, and frankly, I was born with a silver spoon. And the American people are not, are not concentrated at all upon China, on Russia, Iran, Iraq. This president's failure to put in place a status of forces agreement allowing 10 to 20,000 troops to stay in Iraq. Unthinkable. By the way, both, both my dad and Ann's dad did quite well in their lives. Uh, but when they came to the end of their lives and, and passed along inheritances to Ann and to me, we both decided to give it all away. So I have inherited nothing. Everything that Ann and I have, we, uh, we earned the uh, old-fashioned way. I wish we weren't unionized so we could go a lot deeper than you're actually allowed to go. But, uh, there are 47 percent of the people who will vote for the president no matter what. All right, there are 47% who are with him, who are dependent upon government, who believe that, that they are victims, who believe that government has a responsibility to care for them, who believe that they are entitled to health care, to food, to housing. I do want to divide what a state you might eventually have, and I said, <laughs> I'd love to didn't have anything at that point. I said, I want to divide it equally among my five sons. And she said, well, how much will you want to give to the grandchildren that they will ultimately have? And I said, well, I don't want to give anything to, to the grandchildren. We didn't talk about immigration today. Gosh, I'd like to bring in more legal immigrants. We, we, uh, we use Anne sparingly right now so that people don't get tired of her. And the American people are not, are not concentrated at all upon China, on Russia, Iran, Iraq. This president's failure to put in place a status of forces agreement allowing 10 to 20,000 troops to stay in Iraq, unthinkable.